Well, hey everyone, welcome back to Kitchen Table TCG. In at it again with a box opening for uh, patron John. John uh, got a, a crucible and an arcane box opening. So we're gonna see which box is better. Uh, we just did the market update. We're, we'll start with uh, we'll start with arcane. We'll make you watch um, a little damage on that box. Sorry, John. Uh, when I pulled it out of the case, it was like that. So you get a little, a little broken one. I promise you, I did not uh, restack it. All the packs are there. Uh, anyway, the, did the market update today for Crucible? It's uh, I'm working on it still, but the unlimited is is done. And man, unlimited is uh, still spicy. Still a lot of value. We also have a free pack here. We have a um, a pack for the patrons, and we got the fine center play map. Look how beautiful it is. Uh, so how you guys doing? What's going on? Uh, pour the mold, Convertidus Contraband. What's going on with life and what do you think about Crucible Unlimited? There's a little weird print stuff. I was just running through the uh, the numbers and, and everything and uh, there's some weird print things. Voltic Bolt. There's um like a non-foil, there's no non-foil weapons, but there's foil weapons, which is the opposite of this first edition. That's pretty cool. And then you've got the, ooh, Chains of Eminence. That's a hot card right now. You've got the, um, the, uh, the, what's it called? The non-foil weapon, but then you don't have the full, the full art twinning blade is not in the set. Um, it's, uh, it's, ooh, best of the first fist. It is not in the set. Uh, and then you've got the other thing that's weird is, um, the springboard somersault does not appear to be short printed in, in foil. And then in addition, it is, um, in addition, it's printed in non-foil. So lots of lots of different lots of changes for Crucible uh, in the unlimited version. Uh, meanwhile, we've got uh, an induction chamber. Meanwhile, John's box here for Arcane Rising is not not super hot. Chamber of Eminence is seeing a lot of play as people are getting more competitive and uh, utilizing it to to block some strategies, especially against. Um, I, I'm hearing it's played a, a lot against uh, uh, Ninja to prevent the combos and that kind of thing. Uh, DM Armada has a great video about how to utilize the Chains of Eminence. Uh, go check that out. Enchanting Melody, drawn to the dark dimensions. Uh, I, I like this whole like opening uh, opening two two boxes at a time. It's a lot of fun. Uh, we get to compare a little bit to see like what's the, the hotter box. Obviously, I think Crucible is going to take the cake this time around. Uh, simply put, um, there's just not going to be enough crucible to go around for the next couple of days. I think until we get to August, there's just, uh, oh, we're in August. Until we get to the end of August, there's just not enough crucible. Ooh, Teclo Core. There we go. There's just not enough crucible to go around. Uh, I think you're going to start seeing it dry up. Uh, I don't know what it will do. I don't know if it will really affect single prices. Um, but I don't know. All right. Come on. Come on. Uh, cognition notes. I'm, uh, we're supposed to do a Arcane Rising break tonight. And it doesn't look like it's going to sell out. So, <laughs> uh, Metazoo sold out for, uh, Kickstarter sold out instantly. Um, not instantly, but sold out within a couple hours. Uh, meanwhile, Arcane Rising. I don't, it, I can't compete with the prices. That's what, we're just going to have to not do unlimited breaks. Uh, my, my gut was right and, you know, I shouldn't have done it. But, uh, I can't compete with these big stores that are selling it for $55, $60 a box, which is a lose money. Anyway, moving on from that, uh, this is not a good box, John. This is this is not not uh, not foreseen it well. We need to hit a Command & Conquer. That's what we need. We need a Command & Conquer. Uh, that's, that's the only thing that can save this, is a Command & Conquer or that good old Arcanite skull cap. Have you guys ever wondered? Uh, I've, I think I've asked this before, but the Arcanite, ooh, life for life. Look, she's just like killing him. The Arcanite skull cap and the Arcanite shard. I would love to see more lore on like why there's that name difference. Like they seem, they sound and they pronounce the same. Uh, but like, why is there that, uh, ooh, foil tome of Arcanite? Uh, yeah, nice. I've been selling a lot of these for some reason. I don't know. I don't know why. Um, I guess it's in some Rune Blade deck, but I've been selling a lot. Like, literally every day on my website, like, two or three of them sell. 
Uh, Oath of the Arknight, Endless Era. All right, we got a lot of supers here, but our Majestics have just been weak, Jonathan. Uh, Majestics have been weak. We need that Command to Conquer. Come on. Come on. Silver the tip. We just need that Command to Conquer. Uh, yeah, so... Uh, our thing, the unlimited market, I think, is going to become quickly saturated with boxes. I mean, it already kind of is, uh, but I'm hearing from distribution that there's tons of boxes available. Um, it, and small, like your local game shop will be able to move it locally, but uh, it's just going to be a, a lot of, uh-oh, uh-oh. Hey, Jonathan, took the boundary heart and it become the Arknight. Let's go. Boom. Boom. All right, not the best one. Not the best legendary but it's still legendary, my friend. It's still a legendary. Good work. All right, we're gonna set that right there. All right, let's see if we can do a two legendary opening here uh, with the Crucible box now. Uh, that would be spicy. That would be spicy. Uh, everyone was laughing at my um, my thumbnail from yesterday's box opening. Uh, I, I have heard multiple things. We'll talk about it when we talk about Crucible, but um, I have heard multiple people say that they pulled a Krunik in every single case. And then I've heard people say that they haven't pulled any Krunix. Like Mitch opened, you know, 50 boxes and only pulled four. Um, and there's our, our Majestic, Sonic Boom. All right, so all in all, not the not a amazing box is like, I would rather have had a Command and Conquer than the Teclo Foundry Heart. Um, because hey, it's worth more and it's just more playable. Uh, but you did get a Legendary. I mean, it was obviously a good box, but your Majestics just weren't there. Uh, you did get yourself a good number of, uh, average super rares, I guess, but you got a chains, which is good. And your tome, I think we'll, I think that's, that's seeing some increase, but all right. You got yourself a technically found your heart. Can't complain about that. My friend, let's set these commons aside. Hey, if you're looking for commons, go to cavdeansmarket.com, search free commons in the, the search bar and uh, I'll send you some commons. You just pay shipping. Um, all right. Crucible of war. We still have yet to pull a Cheyenne. We still have yet to pull a shard, but we have pulled, is it three tunics now? I think we have pulled three tunics now on the channel. Um, so, uh, tunic is, you know, eh, it's kind of boring now. I mean, if we hit it great, the, a, it's selling for 150 bucks, which I think is overpriced by, by a lot. Uh, in my opinion, I, that is going to be a $75 card in a couple weeks. Um, but anyway, uh, oh, I love Crucible. I just look at the packs. This set, man, this set got me. This is what got me hooked on Flesh and Blood. If you go back and watch my channel, the early videos, um, it was this set that really got me hooked. Uh, this is the first stuff I ever opened. Oh my gosh, the artwork's so good. Soul Beach Strike, look at that artwork. Oh my gosh. Uh, we'll, we'll just slow roll it for a second. Research notes, high speed impact, rushing river. Uh, all right, so we really are looking for Cheyenne. Uh, Cheyenne is at around 200. Shards, like, uh, I think the shards are around 350. Um, emerging dominance. Uh, we'll start to see, it'll be interesting to start to see, like, if anybody, now that Cheyenne is so much more prevalent in terms of, like, being able to get the card, it'll be interesting to see if anybody tries to do anything with her now that they, like, can get their hands on her, more people. Uh, I would love to see that happen. I would love to see like Cheyenne win some sort of Blitz tournament or something. It won't. She's not. She's not capable of that yet. Uh, but in, as we get more cards and more stuff, she just gets stronger. Riled up. All right. This has been the worst start to any Crucible opening ever, Jonathan. Uh, we are we are struggling. This has not been a good start. Uh, crush the week. We are getting crushed. All right, here we go. Springboard Somersault. So like, this was a card that was only printed in non-foil, or sorry, only printed in foil in first edition, but now is printed in non-foil and foil. And in first edition, it appeared to be short printed in foil, but now it's not. Interesting stuff. And, it hits, and then Harmonized Kadachi. There we go. Ooh, and a Rattlebones. All right, all right. They're the first Majestic. There we go. And a Dauntless. Uh, this set has, this is, um, I always saw it as a collector set, like that it had really good things to collect with the cold foil majestics and stuff. Uh, but, uh, George and Mitch have really led me to understand, and I knew it too, that like, there are so many playable cards in the set that it is like more of a player set, but I don't know. I, I still feel like there's a collector attitude towards it. 
and like it can't be draftable so how can it really be a player set increase the tension crane dance i have heard of people doing um like team draft type stuff where you get one or two packs of crucible along with i think we're going to do it at my road to nationals actually um as like a side event oh foil snag there we go and a cash in foil snag look at how dark the print is on these i kind of like it actually i know a lot of people have uh complained about it but i kind of like it i kind of like the the like the the deep saturation of those dark colors on it all right here we go meet and greet reinforce the line and a towering titan uh artwork i i will give this set I, I don't know. I, I always say like the artwork gets better with every set. It's like a question for me between this and, uh, ooh, Righteous Cleansing. I mean, just look at it. It's like a question, like that guy's chopping his head off. Um, it's like a question to me, what's better between Monarch and Crucible? I don't know. Crucible just has a special place in my heart, man. I, it, 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 I am so by, oh, Foil Lunging Press. Like I opened 30 boxes of first edition crew or, or somewhere around that. I think I only pulled one foil lunging press. And now I think I pulled one in almost every box opening on the channel. Uh, so definitely, I don't, I mean, I'm not saying definitely, but I don't, I get the feeling that it's not, um, this should be a play mat. That it's not short printed. Uh, that should be a play mat. Why is that not a play mat? LSS, what were you thinking? Like, at what point did you guys have your little meeting of like, what should be a play mat? And you were like, oh, Zen State? Nah, that one shouldn't be a play mat. Like what? Come on, come on, come on. Blind kick, that's a cool one too. Uh, the, I mean, the artwork's just so cool. Look at that. I could just, I could look at the Crucible artwork literally all day. It brings back happy memories. Um, all right, here we go. Uh, Bear Dream Big Heart, we're still looking at Massacre. We're, we're light on the Majestics on that, that right side of the box was light on Majestics. Let's see if we can up the Majestic pull rate a little bit. Also, we're still looking for a Legendary. We want a two Legendary open today. We want a two bit, oh, Foil Bittering Thorns and a non-Foil Lunging Press. We want a two Legendary open today. We want Cheyenne to join us. We want to hang out. We want to... Uh, have Techlo Foundry Heart and Cheyenne in the same box opening. That'd be pretty cool. Uh, Cast Eye, nothing here. Anyway, I think uh, I think Crucible prices are going to start dropping pretty uh, dramatically. I think the EV, you'll see in my video tonight, but the EV, ooh, non-foil snag, boom. The EV is still pretty high uh, in the 140s, 150s. Um, and it's just too high. It, it just is. I mean, it's just gonna be too high. Uh, ooh, foil is unstable. Ooh, something shiny. Ooh, something shiny. Ooh, something shiny. All right, Jonathan, you got five packs left, my friend, as we rip through the end of your Crucible box. Uh, we didn't get, uh, we got one foil Zen City. Ooh, Heron's Flight. We haven't gotten any fine centers either. I feel like I haven't gotten any of those in any of my openings. Uh, that's a card that's, you know, pretty hot. Uh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, Pathing Helix. Oh, man, like Marvin Skies, look at that. Like, oh my gosh, it's so good. It's so ridiculously good. Like everything about this set's perfect. I am such a, like I've been called a, oh baby, foil, spoils of war. Jonathan, you got it. Most expensive card, non or most expensive regular majestic of the set. Spoils of war. Look at how dark that print is. Uh, all right, so you got a <laughs> you got a foil snag and a foil spoils of war. Like you can't get better, like more lucky foils than that, man. Good work. All right, last pack, my friend. Then we'll do the patron pack. Then we'll do the free pack for those of you who are just hanging out and watching. We'll kind of slow roll these. Look at this. Oh man. All right, here we go. Torrent of tempo. Increase the te oh mangle in the clothes, baby in the close boom all right here we go uh that's oh where does this go it's a rare here we go um we are going to do a patron pack so uh that was pretty good that was a pretty good box we got two foils really good foils one two three four five six 
above average or you know, about average on Majestic. But you got a Majestic Snag, which is good. Righteous Cleansing, Rattle Bones, which is all good ones. Uh, but then the key here was your your Foil Snag and your Foil Spoils of War. Very, very well done. Not a double legendary box, but it is what it is. All right, let's do uh, let's do one of these Monarch Packs uh, for a patron here. Here we go. Uh, 11 goes to Daniel K. All right, Daniel, here we go. Let's see what you got. Uh, where's the where's the rares? Did I pass them? I can never remember. All right. Uh, out muscle. Oh, where's our foil? Dimensional gateway. All right, Dan. These are uh, all going to be added to the free comments because you didn't pull my majestic. So thanks for uh, supporting. All right, here we go. This is uh, this is your trivia question. Uh, here we go. It's uh, it's gonna be what. Uh, when war when word of war reached Rek Vosboros, they were struck with fear. What kind of fear were they struck with? Boom, boom. That's a good one. That was a good one. Uh, what kind of fear were they struck with? Here we go. You'll get whatever's in this pack: a foil, unworldly bellow, a tremor of Arathiel, and a howl from beyond. So you won't get anything. It's kind of a disappointment. I know. We're just gonna throw these into the free commons. Uh, but it's just not worth shipping when the cards are worth like 15 cents. So I uh, hope you guys have a great day. Congratulations, Jonathan, on your great, I think a really good box opening. Get yourself a, a majestic foil spoilers of war. Uh, thanks for supporting the channel, my friend. Uh, the rest of you guys, we'll uh, see you again later for our uh, market update. And uh, remember to be kind to the people around you.